Thank you for joining. You got it, Anjali. So let's start doing some stretching and get our body energized and flexible. Okay, so let's uh, take the legs apart. Okay, always go with your comfort. Always walk, watch your body, all the joints and different parts of your body. Okay, so just do the side stretch first. Then you can keep your hands and just go from side to side. Just warm up a little bit. And then come back in the center. Okay, let's do some squat. Okay, now we are going to do a little bit deeper squat. So again, go with your comfort level of your knees and legs. Okay, so just come down. You can even bring your hands like Malasan in the Namaskar Mudra. Come back slowly up. Again, let's do a few repetitions. So that way, you know, uh, you can um, hold uh, at the end. So come up. Again, if you want, you can even separate your legs more. Just take a couple of breaths and come back up. And come down. Okay, come down as much as you can. Every time, a little bit even more down. Up. and stay here okay you feel the stretch in your hips in your thighs you keep your hands on your knees okay, just twist feel the stretch back the other side shoulder break stretch your back get rid of all the tension in different parts of your back try to raise your neck and head little bit up you push stretch in your neck and then slowly up. notice how your back your legs all the sensation in your different parts of the body okay now let's come down on the floor let's do some upward planks okay so they're really good for your uh, ankles your feet okay so we are going to do is keep your legs a little bit apart you can keep your hands so like fingers out or you can keep it in depending on your own comfort so let's try doing this first okay so come up and then go forward towards your heels okay come up sit in go towards your hands okay let's repeat a few times sit in come up out, go down, sit in, sit out, sit in, sit out, sit in, and breathe out, come down. Again, notice the stretch, you can shake your hands a little bit. Because your wrist get really good stretch. So make sure your hands are doing okay. Alright. So now let's now do a posture. Okay. So we are going to do is bring our leg up. Okay. So come up. So right leg on your left knee and try to press your right knee down. 
Continue breathing. of normal breaths. We will do the other side. Alright, so let's go up in the upward plank. And then bring the left foot on your right knee. Again, try to push your left knee down. Keep your hips raised up. And then slowly bring your leg down and back down. Feel the stretch. Again, you can shake your hands if you want. Really get all the tension out of your wrist, your fingers. And relax. Okay, we'll do one more upward plank again with the straight leg. Okay, this time again, this is really you should feel good stretch in your ankle joints, your feet, so even your calf muscles. So again, keep your legs, you can keep it straight. What I'm gonna do is so let's try it going up again. You can do a couple of uh, repetitions. So instead of holding it first time, we can do is just go up and then come down. Come up, try to push your toes towards the floor and come down. Okay, let's do one more time and then third time we'll hold it a little bit longer. So just go up, try to pull your hips up and down. Okay, now let's do it one last time and hold it for maybe five to six breaths. Okay. And slowly come down. Notice the stretch in your calves, your ankles, your hands, shoulders and bring your hands forward. Again, you can just rotate your wrist with a little bit of sukshma ayam, subtle little sizes for the wrist, your fingers. And come down. Notice nice stretch on your shoulders and the back. So let's come up in the center. And now we'll do is one sitting posture, which is called uh, Admasan, which is like a bit challenging posture. So again, uh, go with your comfort level. You can in just do a little bit modified posture also. I will show you. Okay, so you bring your one leg on the one thigh and then bring the other leg. Okay, this is a, one of the really uh, old meditation posture. This is the one uh, most of the monks and people who used to do a meditation long, long time back used to always sit in this posture and do the meditation. It's not an easy posture if you're not used to it, but again. Try it. It's really a good posture. It keeps your spine straight and helps you keep, uh, you know, sitting straight. And if you feel it comfortable, then it's a very good posture. But if you don't feel it comfortable, then it's a pain, right? So again, it's a getting used to it. So now, if you cannot sit from this posture, you can just keep bring your one leg down, and you can do it like half, half padmasana, or you can call it siddhasan. You know, just. Uh, little bit of any uh, depending on your comfort level you can keep either the right foot up or you can keep your left foot up okay so again this is a really good posture to sit in meditation you can your focus on your breath and keep your eyes closed 
and calm your mind. So this is one of the really good postures. Now since we did it with one uh, first left leg up, let's do it other way around. Okay. Again, usually I feel more comfortable with the left leg up, but since we want to get stretched to both the legs, we can do it this this way also. Again, keep it as much as up as you can. Like this. So basically, you get stretch your both legs. Okay, take a couple of breaths. Sit straight. Notice the stretch. It's a little bit deeper stretch and not easy stretch. If you have any issues with the knees, maybe you, you want to avoid it. Okay, so again, if you don't feel comfortable, just take one leg down and you can sit here and hold it like that. Okay, so again, this is a very good posture to do your breathing practices. Any meditation if you are doing, you can sit in this posture. And you can either stay like this or you can release your legs and you can bring it like that. Also, you can, you know, do it in like bring both knees down. This is a very comfortable posture. You can sit really for a long time. So this way your both knees are almost coming towards the floor so and then they are spread more so this is also one of the really good posture again just stay here take a couple of deep breaths close your eyes and keep your focus on your breath and you can calm your mind that way okay so thank you for joining yoga with anjali uh, subscribe to my channel let your friends and family know about it and again important thing keep doing yoga it's really helpful builds your immunity flexibility so thank you very much namaste